Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to Course Party. So, we just finished up uh, Chapter 2, and now we get to move on to Chapter 3. Let's not waste any time. Let's just jump into this. New game! View the Chapter 3 opening. Well, of course. I don't want to miss out on any important details. <coughs> I can't take much more of this. What's wrong with this school? What kind of place is this? Who the hell was that? And why is he here? If we got hit with a hammer like that, we'd be goners. Where's Kurosaki? <laughs> Don't worry about him. He was just here. We'll run into him any moment now. I'm sure of it. I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to die like this. You saw it too, right? Emmy spotty her head. Her head was split wide open. Oh. It had to have been from that hammer. Don't think about it, please. <laughs> oh boy. Damn it. Where did everybody go? That's what I want to know. Hmm? Ah, what? Look, Fukuroi, look, the hallway. It, it can't be. The corridor, it grew. What is... No, no, the other way, look, down the hall. Something's, hey, something's coming. Maybe our big friend the hammer that uh, knocked out our friend that we were playing as that I already forgot the name of. What? Whoa! Gah! Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! I think they're dead. Go! Oh. Yeah, I'm almost certain they're dead. No! <laughs> no. Well, we just started and shit just got real with this chapter. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing they're dead, yeah. Oh, ow. So I wonder who we're going to play as in this chapter, because it seems with every story, we're playing as different people, you know. <laughs> What's happening? What the hell is going on? I've been asking that since we started. Like, I'm understanding, like, the gist of it, but it is enough to make my brain hurt. Hello? Nobody there? Oh, hi! Headless child again. Get me back my hair! Um, I, I, I don't know where your head is, though. That doesn't mean you can take my head! My head's not going to do you any good. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Help me. Help me. Naomi, are you there? Answer me, please. Yes, I'm here. Who is this? Mom? Mom! Oh, it's our mother. Mom, Mom, it's me. I'm in real trouble. Naomi, please. Just let me hear your voice. Oh, okay, does the phone not work both ways? You can't hear me? Oh, dear. Please, just say something. I'm your mom, Naomi. God, please, don't let anything have happened to her. Uh, I, I'm fine. I'm, I'm right here. Help me. Help me. I'm kind of surprised our phone actually works. Like, 
I know phone service can be incredible, but I didn't think it would work uh, across dimensions, you know. Help me. Help me. Ah! Stupid phone. <laughs> you know, so far in this story, uh, Naomi's probably the only person I've grown emotionally attached to. Because of, well, this! Losing her best friend, you know? <laughs> Seiko... I don't understand! You said we make it out with here, together! Why would you kill yourself? What happened? I think the voice she followed, uh, led her to do it, you know? What did you see? It really is a pity. Huh, hello? Oh, hi! Eh. Who... Who are you? Oh, it's you with the weird eyes. I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. Afflicted? With what? The curse that holds the school together. Those who are touched by it slowly lose their minds to it. Some people realize this is happening and go to great lengths to prevent it even taking their own lives. Oh, so that's what happened to Seiko. Of course, others just go insane. Sometimes, they start hurting the people around them. The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. That curse may have been a reason why Naomi couldn't uh, force out the words, I'm sorry to Seiko. That's horrible. Now that your friend has passed away, this school, this space, is yours alone. You are its only living occupant. Oh shit. No! You will be all by yourself from here on out. Until the day you die. Shit. Boy, all this game's really doing is make me feel bad for Naomi, like from the start. Like, it just gets getting worse and worse for this poor girl. Lost her friend, and now she found out she's all alone. Uh huh. My cell phone does have Sequel's number stored in it, and everybody else's too. Ow! Ow! Boy, how many times is it now that Naomi fell flat on her face? Oh god, it hurts. That sound, was that my leg? I think so. Oh god! How many times has she thrown up? Oh. Oh god, please! Pull yourself together! You're a tough cookie, Naomi. This isn't like you. Seiko? I'm... I'm not tough at all! Seiko! Seiko! I can't take any more of this. Somebody please help me. Ah, uh, poor Naomi. I feel so bad for her! That's because most of the story, you know, focused on her and everything just gone from bad to worse for her. Satoshi! <laughs> Chapter 3 Oh, we're welcomed by a spirit here. You're doing great, Yuka. I'm really impressed how long you've gone without crying. <laughs> oh, please don't tell me Yuka's gonna die. No, no, I don't think my heart could handle that. No. No, please, no. I'm not crying. I'm not. I'm proud of you for holding yourself together. I sense that other corporal beings, such as yourselves, were brought here as well. Nine in total. Nine poor souls pulled in at once. That will be me, my friends. That will be me and Yuka, Naomi, Yatoshi, Shinozaki. Miss Yoi, Shinohara, 
Suzumoto and Morishigi. In other words, everybody in the room at the time. Yep. Damn it! So everyone else is in the school too? Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So in essence, they are indeed all in this school. But it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meeting anyone else here may prove difficult. If you should attempt to defy the will of this school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath. And that's a fate. Best avoid it. N Note it. We have to try anyways. We appreciate the warning, but we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find everyone and get out of here. Big Brother! They're all such good people. They done nothing to deserve this. And I absolutely will not give up on them. Just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. It's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it among the way. Your desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit. No matter what horrors may await. Well, I think we already failed at that because, uh... We had two people die. Uh, Mayo became like a big blob of whatever on the wall. And Siko hanged herself. And... Our friend we were playing as in the last chapter may be dead. Like, he just got, uh, hit in the back. And got dragged away to God knows where. So if he's not dead, he's going to be. So I guess we could say three people are dead. Miss Joy somehow is still alive. That's a miracle. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better. Even if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. I will try my best, Mr. Phantom. Big Brother? Hmm? What is it? What did he mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. I think it means if we defy the laws, the school is gonna, well, punish us. Is he saying the school has a mind of its own or something? I I I'm thinking that's what he meant. At any rate, we should try to find Miss Yoi and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get you home too. If we come across a way out here, I want you to take it. Mm. There must be an entrance way, an emergency exit, or roof access, or something that leads outside. And if so, you're to go straight home. No buts about it. Capiche? Okay. Great, we got a game plan. Get Yuka home. Wait, I want to read that note. Can I go back in? Thank you. There's a newspaper article pinned on the wall. It's from a publication called Heavenly Post. The headline reads, Breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder, but much of the newsprint is worn away. Oh, well, I can't read most of it then. The bodies of the escorted youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host at Wenchi School building on September 18, 1973 at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them alive but near catatonic, kind of holding a pair of bloody scissors. I've read all this already. Okay. What a horrible incident. I'm never hearing about this from Shinozaki. During one of the candlelight Virgils, I guess she did say it was a true story. Yeah, it turns out it was true. Teacher's desk is a note still on here? Covered with markings. Looking closely, there appear to be words written on it, but the letters are indistinct and seem to be changing from moment to moment as if in flux. Okay, well, I guess that was the, the message. Hey, there's one of those boards over there. Let's go get it. Because I'm guessing I will need it, right? Oh, I won't need it. Okay. But I still want to grab it because I probably will need it later. Oh, there's the... Yeah, I will need it for there. But I want to see what's up first, but I might as well go grab it first. Oh, are you kidding me? This again? Oh, boy. 
Okay, so it's uh right next to the rubble. It's gonna be just like that key again, isn't it? Oh hi! A child spirit? That must be the fourth child spirit! We finally met it! That red dress looked pretty old fashioned. Big brother! <laughs> it it's okay, she's gone now. We'll be fine. Y you don't sound so sure about that. Yeah, bit okay. It was here. Wait, can I not grab it? I, I can't do the thing. Do I have to go uh, back and forth a few times? Be like, uh, we'll have to grab this, or do I leave it? I might just have to leave it. Oh, I'm moving on my own. Okay, I had to trigger it. Is it just me, or is that board moving? Yeah, it was over on this side a few minutes ago. Maybe we could ambush it. Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. And that spot would be, like I said, right next to the rubble. So, yeah, we're doing exactly what we did before with, uh, in chapter one. With the key, you know? So, right next to the rubble. Right here. Hey, Yuka, can you wait here just a minute? Huh? Big brother, no, don't leave me! Don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay, but you have to come back, you promise? You bet! Yeah, and I'm not really going away, I'm just going on to that side. You be a good girl and wait. We're gonna get that thing. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Yuka, can you grab that board? Uh-huh, I got it! Good job, Yuka! We did it! We got a loose board! Nicely done! I'd say we're one step closer to getting out of here! You all set? Come on, let's go! Okay! Huh? Actually, wait a second, big brother! Hmm? What's up? Um, this is for you! Uh, what is it? Such a cute little bottle? Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. Oh ho. There sure are a lot of them in there. Give it a sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. Hey, caramel. That smells very good. Isn't it neat? She probably spent her allowance on that stationary shop in town again. See, caramel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents and shields you from danger. That's why I want you to have it. A flavor? This place frightening you? Don't don't worry, I'll be all right. You should hang on to it yourself. Um, but I really don't mind. You take it, huh? I just I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. Uh, you're a scatterbrain. You always get freaked out so easily, and it really scares me. Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. Oh boy. Well, she really wants me to take it and she'll feel better if I take it. I guess I'll take it. I mean, a part of me also wants to decline because, you know, Yuka here is just a child, right? I don't want to see a child get harmed, so... If it's supposed to have like, these powers to protect her, I would like her to keep it. But, it seems like she won't be at ease unless I take it. If I decline, she's probably going to insist and keep insisting until I take it, so... Fine, I'll take it. Alright, I guess I can borrow it for a little. Thanks. <laughs> take good care of it, okay? Camera forever will keep you safe. But that's not all. Wanna know what else it does? It's a secret! Huh? What do you mean by that? If I tell you... You'll all get bothered, so I'm not gonna... Something that would bother me? More than calling me a scatterbrain. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a secret. I don't think I, I should be told what it is. Because then it won't be a secret no more. Alright, well, before I go down there and cross that and use the board down there, I want to see what's up here. Since I can go down this way now. 
we're seen to be faintly hovering over the flyer on the wall. Unfortunately, to keep lightning and darkening, moving and fluctuating, making it impossible to infer whatever message they're meant to convey. Of course, everything in this goddamn place is unreadable. Hello? Oh god, I hear a fly. Oh, hi! Uh, you hurt my hand, big brother. Eek! You good. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's not a proper anything. It's a real dead body. This is really happening, isn't it? B big brother? A dead body. An actual dead body. Am I going to end up like this too? Are all of us going to die here? Well, so far it looks that way, yeah. Big brother! Uh, Yuka, it... It's okay. Come on, Yuka. We're leaving this room. No. Does this have a name tag on it? There's a corpse sprawled on the ground. Decomposing rapidly. A message has been painstakingly carved into the floorboards next to it. Seemingly with fingernails alone. Uh -uh, I gotta read it. I gotta know what it says. Kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. Can't take any more. Can't take any more. Can't take any more. Oh my. Let me out. Is that gonna be us? Holy shit. I'm gonna save. So there wasn't a name tag on that body. But there might be on this one. There's a corpse sprawled out on the ground, decomposing rapidly. It's clutching a letter in its hand. The letter reads as follows. Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my death. But I no longer have the energy to move, so I'm desperately thirsty. My tongue starts swelling up like a sponge, and it keeps cutting off my air. I find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink. Anything. Heck, I'd even drink that scary orange juice from the back of the fridge right about now. But there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty. It's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope at least you can make it out of here alive. If anyone else finds this, my name is Hiroku Matomura from Amazaki West High, Classroom 2-4. Well, we got a new name tag, although we, it wasn't a name tag, but we got a name. Alright, and this doesn't have a name tag. Oh, it does! Okay! Amazaki West uh, Senior Private School, Classroom 2-4, Taka Yuki Motomura. So... The brother that this person was talking about, because they had the same last name. Alright guys, so I think uh, we'll end this episode here. Thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to Court's Party. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.